All right, class. Hey, let's uh, work on a full section again, though, with an assembly. So I'm going to go back to drawing. I need a model view. I already have this one open. So double click on here. I need the top view. So this is the previous. Let's see. I want it to be. Oops. Okay, I'm done with that. I need this to be hidden. Actually, just so you can see what it looks like. Let's do a projected view. Actually, let me do this and then delete. Go for a projected view, the isometric, just because it shows you more what it looks like. All right, I don't need this view anymore. All right, so I'll show you the difference. Let's go back to oops, just our full section. Now, it's pretty much the same part, just uh, the whole assembly. <clears throat> now, if I do a regular full section, well, this uh, section scope view will will pop up. Um, it's for if you have an assembly or uh, rib features or other components, it'll allow you to deselect some. But before I am doing that, I'm just going to show you what it looks like if we didn't do that. It is one solid hatch because you're cutting through. Well, you're cutting through the slots, but then you're cutting through these bolts, the nuts, everything. It doesn't look that well. So. One thing you could do with a section view, a full section view with a um, assembly. Click that. When this section scope opens up, it's asking you what what uh, features you want to exclude, and it will say show exclude exclude fasteners. Go over here to your tree, and then let's see where is my plumber's rock right here. I want to exclude to make it clear. You know, I'm cutting right down the middle. I want the bolts to be normal. This is a prettier book. It shows you how to do this. So let's go to the bolt, the nut, the lock nut. And on the other side, bolt, nut, lock nut. Now when it does a section, it's going to exclude the bolt nuts. Uh, basically, ugh, basically both nuts and the bolts. And that makes your part, um, the section, look a lot better. One thing also I, I noticed, well, I keep on messing this up. My um, section my text is always goofy when I'm doing these. One thing also you if uh, just you know word of the wise, if you're working on sections um, and you have multiple sheets, you know, the more sheets you have, if you know start with your section from like A, details, you know. Sections, details, uh, projected views, things that are numbered or lettered. Um, usually, what you want to start with, let's say, oops, capital locks, you know, start with uh, A and work your way up the alphabet. And then, when you uh, get past, you know, all the alphabet, usually you usually want to stay from, away from like I's, uh, things that, you know, can be misinterpreted as other things. Um, but once you get past it, then you can start going to double um, A, 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 B, A, C, stuff like that. But it's best to always, um, from sheet, on your first sheet, and you keep going on, to have the you know, first sections A, the second one's B, the third one's C, depending. Even as you uh, go to the next page, the next things that detail E, you just keep on adding on to it. So this is an assembly, um, full section view. You can still do, you can do the same partial uh, sections or half sections and extrude things um, and, and keep things that are, uh, you know, shown or not shown.